I'm Lisa, I'm the Barefoot Pampered Chef, and today I'm going to show you how to make creamy broccoli and sun-dried tomato risotto. So if you've heard of a risotto, that is a creamy rice-based dish, usually made with an arborio rice or, or a style of rice such as arborio rice. The thing that we're making today is kind of a play on that, but it's made with an orz orzo pasta. So this is an orzo pasta. It kind of has a grain like a, or a rice like appearance to it. The only difference is that rice is the actual grain of a plant and pasta like the orzo is a blend of a rice or a flour or a, you know some sort of a flour mixture made into a dough that's then shaped into a pasta. So this pasta just happens to be shaped like little grains of wheat or even spelts. They're kind of elongated. So what we're going to do first is we are going to take one medium onion and I just have that cut, cut into quarters and I put that into my manual food processor and we're going to chop that up. So the reason I like the manual food processor is A, I can talk over it and it's not really that loud. And B, it's just really simple to use. I don't have to get out a whole bunch of parts. It's really easy to clean up. So I've already got my onions completely chopped up. I'm just going to take out my blade and we're going to put these right into the deep covered baker. So the great thing about the deep covered baker is that it can be used in the stove or in the oven or in the microwave. So this is an actual microwave dish, but you can make it in the oven or on the stove top. This can't be used on the stove top, but you can make it on the stove top, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to set that aside because we're going to use that in a few minutes for something else. Now to this onion, I am going to add three cloves of garlic that I've put through my garlic press and two teaspoons of oil, just extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to kind of mix these up in the box. Now to sweat my onions, we're going to pop this into the microwave for approximately two minutes with the cover. Pop that in here. Two minutes. So while that's cooking, I'm going to show you what we're going to put in next. This is our risotto, or our, our orzo. See, now I've got myself confused. This is our orzo pasta, and there's one and a half cups of this. We're going to add three and a quarter cups of vegetable broth and we're going to add three quarters of a cup of white wine. Now, when I was looking at this recipe, there's one thing that I didn't have, mascarpone cheese. Now, I looked all over a, a couple of stores and I couldn't find it. So instead of scrapping this recipe, the first thing that I did was I went and looked to see if I could substitute the mascarpone cheese with something else. So while that's cooking, I'm going to show you what we're going to substitute. This is approximately eight ounces of cream cheese. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of what was softened butter, but is set out for just a few minutes. And we're going to add a quarter of a cup of heavy whipping cream. This is going to make a little bit too much for my actual recipe that I'm making so we can save a little bit of this. But this is a great way to substitute for mascarpone cheese, say if you're making a tiramisu or another dish that needs it. So for me, when I find a recipe that I really like, unless I'm missing the main ingredient, like, you know, broccoli in broccoli and cheese soup, if I find an ingredient in it that I don't have or I can't find, I just look for a really good substitute. 
So as you can see, this has come together and it's now pretty much the consistency of what a mascarpone cheese would be. And that's great because our onions are done sweating in the microwave. Now, this isn't too hot right now, so I'm just gonna pull it out with my hands. But if it's been in there for longer than two minutes, you might wanna use something to grab a hold of it. So you can see that my onions are nice and steamy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add this orzo. Just kinda shake it in the bottom of the pan. We're gonna add in our three and a quarter cups of our vegetable broth. And we're gonna add in our three quarters of a cup of white wine. Now we're gonna take this we're going to pop it back in the microwave for 15 minutes or until our orzo is nice and tender. Now obviously I'm not going to make you sit here and wait for 15 minutes, so I'm going to explain the rest of the recipe to you so you know what you're doing as soon as this pops out. So what we're going to do is as soon as it pops out of the microwave, we're going to add our vegetables. So our vegetables for this is one head of broccoli and eight ounces of sun-dried tomatoes. Now the broccoli, it says to cut up into little florets. And quite frankly, I hate cutting up broccoli. It takes forever. So I just took the big, huge florets off of the head of broccoli. And I'm gonna pop them into my manual processor. And just kind of give them a light chop. There's some big ones in here, but I'll put those out for a second. We'll just put in a little bit at a time, and I'm just going to pop these into another bowl. I find this a heck of a lot easier than cutting all of those little florets of broccoli. And it distributes the broccoli a little bit more throughout the dish. So you're going to get a little bit more of that flavor of broccoli throughout. And these don't have to be perfect cuts. I mean, there's, some of them can be a little bit more bite-sized than others. And then, once we've got our broccoli cut up, We are going to cut up our sun-dried tomatoes. These are a little bit more on the chewy side, so I don't think that they're going to do very well in the manual processor. So I'm just going to cut them up separately. So I'm just going to use my coated chef's knife and cut these kind of into strips, maybe cut the strips in half. Now I have a bad habit of putting my finger on the top of the blade to steady it. And according to Chef Ann Burrell, that is not the way to chop. And so if I keep doing that, I just have this fear that she's going to show up in my kitchen and mark my hand with a marker like she does on worst cooks. <laughs> so I've got these fairly chopped up I just have a few more to go. Now as soon as that pops out of your microwave, you're going to throw in your vegetables, pop the lid back on, and let it sit for five minutes. The steam and the heat that's left over from the risotto cooking is going to cook your vegetables. So you just want to pop these in, give them a quick stir, and then pop that lid back on as soon as you can. After those five minutes, have gone past, then we're gonna add our cheeses to make this the creamy broccoli and sun-dried tomato orzotto. Now, if you were making a real risotto, you would be cooking this on the stove and adding liquids, very small amounts of liquids, frequently, 
to get the rice to build up and get nice and creamy and build that texture. But this is more of a quick dish, so we're not going to get as much of the texture, but it's definitely going to be nice and creamy. So we've got our mascarpone substitute, and we're going to only add about six ounces of this. So this together makes about 10 ounces, so we're going to only use six ounces of it. And then we're going to throw in about six or two ounces of shredded Parmesan cheese. So 15 minutes in the microwave, when it comes out, add your veggies and give it a quick stir. Let it sit with the lid on for five minutes. Open it back up, throw in your cheeses, give it a quick stir, and let it sit with the lid on for two minutes. You can find everything I've used here in the demonstration at www.pamperedchef.biz backslash Lisa Wright, L-I-S-A-W-R-I-G-H-T. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at hashtag BarefootPC, and you can find me on YouTube at the Barefoot Pampered Chef channel. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed this recipe.